New Year's Eve, 93, bells start tolling for the grand midnight. I get the look, it's, do you have something you want to ask me? And I go, God, Andy, this is like it now. I could hear myself go, would you like to marry me? And I thought, oh, God, what have I just said? I just went along with it. I'm not really proud of saying it, but I'm just... Yeah. I was kind of in my head, I was going, no, man, what are you doing? First to arrive for his date and dressed to impress is 30-year-old Luke. Hello, how are you? I'm very well, thank good you. Good You're looking really sharp. Thank you very much. It's okay. <laughs> work, I think. Oh, yeah, very good, yeah. The self-confessed ladies' man. He's recently had something of a wake-up call. Hello. Hello there. You all right? <laughs> I think the girls will think about me back in the day um, that, yeah, he's a bit of a player, yeah, and he's a bit, uh, he's a bit cocky. I think I've always had a cheeky element to me, but um, I'm a changed man now. Um, tell me, what can we get you to drink? I have a Jager bomb. A bit of Dutch courage. A Jager bomb? Yeah, go for it. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that bad? No, that's all right. It's been a lot of weddings this year. Me turning up on my own is not ideal. Now I'm, I'm ready to include a plus one. Yeah. I like girls who dress well. Hi. I think someone who kind of glows, like kind of sort of stands out. I like someone who's quite fresh, quite well kept. Yeah, nice lips, big ones. Little back dress, ooh la la. Luke's date, Sophie, is a high flyer in public relations. How are you? Oh, hi, how are yeah, you? Very good, thank you. All the better for seeing you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> but her private relations are barely getting off the ground. I'm very content um, with everything. Like, my job's going well, like, I've got amazing friends. I guess, like, the one thing that's missing is, is a guy to share it with. Your date is just here? Uh-huh. the bar? Great. You know, I'm really happy for my friends. Like, they, they're all in kind of great long-term relationships. But I'm also secretly very jealous. <laughs> hey! <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet I'm you Sophie. Too. I'm Luke. Nice to meet you. Oh, Looking great. Thank you. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm all right, yeah. Not yeah? too bad, yeah. Nice outfit. You're great. Thank you very much, yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Um, very nice as well. Thank you. That's good. So how old are you then? I'm 29. You're 29? Yeah. I'm, I'm 30, so... 30? Yeah. I'm literally clinging on. Please, Just no. let it go. Just but let it go. But then I think eventually I'm just going to have to accept it. Yeah, just let it's it. It's going to happen. Time keeps ticking. Yeah. Um, and especially getting older as well, like a lot of my friends are starting to get married. Anyway. So you're looking for a plus one as well then, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> <laughs> Can I take you through to the table? Yeah, great. Yeah. After you. Thanks. Cheers, mate. Thank you very much. Stop hogging him, Fred. Thank you. Oh, God. He is so beautiful. <laughs> and a minute for you. Thank you very much indeed. Very easy on my eyelids. Do you think he can feel us staring at him? Probably. Hi. So, what can we get you? Um, can I have a pot of martini, please? Yes, of course. I was wondering when somebody would order one of those. Ah, oh, good. <laughs> this is Lee, a Scouse supermarket manager in search of her special someone. I'm an assistant manager in the Aldi. I've worked there for seven years. Someone said on the tail, they've said to me, like, oh, can I have your number? And I've been like, oh, no, sorry, I'm a lesbian. And then I think they just think I'm saying that so that I don't have to give them your number, but it's really, like, true. <laughs> have you been single long? Um, about a year. About a year? Yeah, I dated people on and off, but it's never really, like, went anywhere. Yeah, nothing quite works out. No, not really. I never, ever get chatted up by girls because I, I think it's because I don't really look like a lesbian. Well, I know that's a bit stereotypical, but people like generally stereotypical. Stereotypical, is that the word? Stereotypical. Is. <laughs> what sort of type of lady are you looking for? Um, someone who, someone who can have a laugh with. If she's got good banter, that's the main thing, isn't it? I'll just like people who are like happy, positive, who are just like up for a laugh. Do you know what I mean? Someone who's just got some kind of energy about them. And then obviously, if she's beautiful, then that just makes it even better. <laughs> 
Here with energy to spare is Lee's date, Burnley DJ Nadia. You get two types of Burnley girls, really. You get the stuck up ones who think that'd be someone from Marbella or something. Or you'll get completely the opposite, who are out there, boobs, I just, it's just completely, you don't get anybody in the middle in Burnley. Which one are you? Um, <laughs> probably the one with the boobs out, <laughs> definitely. How are you? I'm good, are you? Good, thank you much. Nice What's to your meet name? Nadia. Nadia? Happy days. When it comes to being my type, she'd have to be a straight looking kind of girl, somebody who looks like a girl. Looking for the one? Yeah, I am looking for the one, yeah. Here we are. There's nothing better than somebody saying, look at me, look at my girlfriend, you know what I mean, and grabbing your hand, and that's the best feeling. I miss that. Like a mirror image. Hello, beautiful. Are you okay? I feel so underdressed. No, oh, oh, no, I'm you beautiful. Oh, thank you, babe. Hey. You're so beautiful. <laughs> I've got your little present, Nick. That's very sweet, thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome, you're welcome. I feel so underdressed. Do you want to come in? Because I can't walk in heels. Nadia, Nadia, Nadia. Nadia, I'm Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, You sound like you talk as much as me. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we're going to get away with. Perfect date. The perfect date. <laughs> I am, if I'm on a date and you know what fancy do, I might kind of be a bit all over the place. Do you have Prosecco? I do, yeah. Do we have bottles or are we just going to... Oh, I can do it by the glass or by the bottle. bottle. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not bad. I mean, you want a bottle to that. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell I'm a little bit nervous now from what's coming on? I am a little bit nervous. I don't even get nervous, me, really. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, mate. Have a good day. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, hang on. Let's remember, we got these. Oh, yeah. Um... <laughs> so what's my name, then? What's my name? Do you remember that? She doesn't even know my name. <laughs> <laughs> Is it Mark? No, it ain't Mark. Is it Neil? Fucking Neil. <laughs> no? What track it is? Go easy. It's like a Tim. Tim, no, nice but dim. <laughs> yeah, no, I've got no, no, sorry. It's oh Luke. god. Luke. Is it Lucas or just Luke? No, it's Luke. I said Luke. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Lucas. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's making her laugh. <laughs> oh, he definitely looked he over. Looked over. He's so looked over. <laughs> I feel like a terrible person, but it's because I was so nervous. Because it's quite intense, isn't it? Dating is intense. <sighs> Listen to this. My dad, right, <laughs> asked my mum out five times, and every time she said no. <laughs> Your mum's got game. <laughs> but, um, I'm, quite, I'm quite close to my family, you know. I think, um, yeah, I've always had their support, you know. In my 20s, I had a serious motorbike crash. And um, I broke my back, smashed up my arm, and my hand was paralysed for five years. And it was, it was quite life-changing. Had a lot of injuries internally as well. Uh, I was in a hospital in uh, intensive care and fighting for my life, basically. My lungs were collapsed. I had eight broken ribs. Um, my kidney was torn in half. But I could have died, yeah. So I was very close. Yeah, very close. Yeah, someone's looking out there for me, I think. So it's only until like, I was 25, 26, I started sort of yeah. dating again. Um, and I dated, I dated quite a lot of people, and I might have been a bad boy. Uh, had, were you? Uh, I had about four years away from girls. You know, once I got everything working, you know, my arm back, and sort of thought, do you know what, I don't care, you know? I'm going to enjoy my life, the, the years that I've lost. I, I turned into a bit of a player. Were you? I think I was a bit of a bad boy, yeah. I, I've been a bit of a bad boy. We had charts, uh, me and one of my housemates did. We were running out of paper, so we just had photo galleries of girls, basically. Uh, my number was about 32, I think I ended up with, in one year. I've sort of ticked that box and got over that. And I think I've developed as a person who sort of is now looking for the next sort of chapter and, and to move into that direction, you know, with someone. I just want to come across that one person who will give me that fuzzy feeling that I'm, I'm happy with just you and that's it. <clears throat> it's just a part of growing up. It doesn't matter what you've done. It doesn't matter about your history. I'm not, 
I'm not dating the person that you were when you were 22. Exactly. And I think part of like being in a relationship is accepting those imperfections. Cheers to that. <laughs> Thanks, Frederick. It's Fred. <laughs> Cheers, Gary. Can I get you some more drinks at all? Yeah, another cheese. Yeah, just yeah, the same it. again. Yeah. yeah. I know he just um, served the table and asked if he would like another drink, and he winked at me, and I was like, like what? Like how did you win? <laughs> what was that part? Was that for me? <laughs> no, I think I've exaggerated him <laughs> slightly. <laughs> The words are spoken. I got a frosted glass deliver. as well. Of course. So posh. Beautiful, that. Thank you. No worries. How do you feel living on your own? I live with my mum still. Yeah. She's my bestest friend. She's amazing. Oh, well, that's nice. Yeah, but brilliant. My brothers are. I've got two brothers. They call me Todger Dodger. That's my name to everybody. If you see me, Todger right. Dodger, Todger, because I just dodge Todge constantly. How's your Dodge Todge. Todger Dodger. Oh, that's disgusting. I <laughs> don't <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant nickname. Oh, As a kid, I was always like fishing with my dad, golfing with my dad, everything. I blame him for being a lesbian. <laughs> Dick decline, I've had that. That's worse. I don't know who you're hanging around with, but none of these people. I've never heard any of these things. Don't you, don't you? I'm not really bad if someone calls me a lesbian because I am a lesbian. Yeah. Have you seen my table? Which one? Which one? The hot lesbians. <laughs> It's kind of like um, seeing a unicorn flying over that rainbow, but you're never going to be able to catch or ride that unicorn. That analogy was mediocre, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> you are so north. <laughs> I'm well north in my accent. My mum never took me to my elocution lessons or anything like that. As if she's going to take you to my elocution lessons, she's never fucking barely. Should I tell her we tried to? I'd love to change the accent. When I went to an Ibiza. You know what? I'm going to knock you out in a minute. You know, if you talk over me all the time. If I try and speak, and you speak French. <laughs> Listen, I need to wait, and I'll be, I'll be back. She's pretty, she's got dead nice teeth, she's got nice eyes, but I don't know, she's pure talking over me, like, you know what I'm like for talking, and then she's, like, talking over me, and I'm like, no, stop talking now, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> I've had a really unlucky love life, really. I don't find, like, people approach me for some reason. I spoke to my uh, best friend about it, because, like, people might find it quite intimidating. She's a bit too loud, or maybe she's a bit too... I don't know, I really don't understand it, and it upsets me a little bit because I wish that people would approach me. She's gone to the toilet, I'm in the restaurant. I just feel like rapping on that about her. She's cool, she is from Liverpool. <laughs> All right, my lover. Bristolian, mum of three, Mandy, measures in at just four foot eleven. Good afternoon. Afternoon. But she has high hopes when it comes to finding a man. Let me take you to the bar. You can have a drink. Wait for Prince Charming, oh, and then I take it from there. Prince Charming. Well, there you are. Take your seat. Hi. What would you like to do? I'll let you choose. You let me choose. Something girly. Something girly. Something exactly. girly. You read my mind. <laughs> I miss cuddles, and it's nice to, to lie in bed and just chat about crap. Oh, my God, look at all this! Fall asleep into in somebody's arms, that's what I miss. Cosmopolitan. Woohoo! I got a big bed, and it's just me. <laughs> Do it suit me? Ah! <laughs> 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 so what sort of guys do you normally go for? Rugby players. Rugby players? Say we're out in the pub and I've had a few to drink. Chuck me over shoulder. Come on, you're coming home. Mandy's date is Andy. Hi. A landscape gardener, also from the West Country. A gentle giant, really, I'd like to meet. Six foot three of mature English beef. Who hasn't always realised his prime potential. I, I bumped into an old school friend and she said to me, do you realise how many girls like you? And I went, no. <laughs> Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm good, thanks. Good afternoon. I'm good, good. Fred. 
Well, unless they strip themselves down naked and go, Andy, take me, I, I am a bit oblivious to it, I must admit. What's your name? Andy. I am going to be more positive and not be quite so um, doubtful. Bit a second to arrive. You're good? I would like to meet somebody and have a, a real romance with. Hi. Hello. How are you? I'm all right. Andy. Hello, Andy. I'm Andy. Hi, I'm Andy. Oh, Andy, my Andy. lips so oh. tiny. <laughs> How are you, Andy? I'm all right, thank you. Good, good, good. So, yeah, no, it's, um... Well, this is interesting, isn't it? Do you come here often? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hi. I'm going to go into it easy, I think. I'll have uh, eight pints of Stella. <laughs> so a pint of lager, whatever you have, please. That'd be great. What for you? I was thinking, um, don't come, don't turn up. Already half cut. I'm always going to make myself look a right dickhead. So I was kind of, thank you very much for stuff. Well, cheers. Yeah, cheers, you, my dear. Thank you very much. Andy. Andy. Um, have you ever had like a long term thing with anyone? That's a really awkward conversation, isn't it? No, I ain't, no. All right. I have. You have? When did that end then, recently? No, about eight months ago. Okay. Yeah, That's yeah. A long time ago. So what about you? Um, so, I broke up with my ex um, start of the year, and I was with him for about four and a half years. Back Do you still speak to him? I feel bitter. No, no. So it ended badly? No, no, but I, we've just cut off. Always good to just have a reality check now and again and just think, is this relationship really right for me? There is such a thing as loving being in love, um, but I think that's a dangerous trap. How old was he? Was he was 25. Yeah, yeah, and you so... have four years. That's a massive difference. Yeah, it's quite a big difference. Yeah, it's... it's been a tricky, like, five months, but um, I come definitely, like, in a very good place now. Because you, you definitely, as soon as you hit 29, 30, you sort of think, that's it, you know? No more, no more messing around. Well, yeah, if yeah. If you're not for me, then that's it. See mm -hmm. you later. Mm -hmm. And you know within, like, a, a few dates, if you can see them being, like... No, I think you know the first date. I know the first date. I bet, you, you? I bet you'd love to know what I'm thinking about it. Yeah, I would. Would you? Feel right free to just talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> just say it. <laughs> I'm going to leave you in suspense right now. Oh, you're no. such a tease. No. <laughs> Try and wink. It'll be sexy. I can't do it with my mouth as I go into, like... Okay, give me a reason why I'm doing it. Well, you want it? You want me? Okay, I want you. Okay, so I just I'd like it um, G and T, please. <laughs> right, are you gonna chill out or? Do you think I'm really unchilled? Yeah. Do you ever get nervous then? Uh, yeah, I am quite nervous, but I feel like I'm calm when you do that. <laughs> <laughs> As a rapper, I taught my hands, which I don't know if you've not. Are you going to rap for us? Um, <laughs> look at her, man, she thinks she's cool. Well, obviously, she's from Liverpool. I like her, even though she talks a lot. I can be a finger, she can be my G spot. <laughs> oh, that was good. <laughs> I have never met a girl like that in my life. Honestly, she was empowering. She put me in my place. No pockets. It's getting worse. Bring the pace home. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? I don't know what they thought me. I don't know because I was so nervous at the beginning. I know she noticed that. Oh, well, she shouldn't like me. She shouldn't like me, but I hope she does. Don't pay for that bill. Pass it here because I'm not into that. Uh, oh, you see, I'm not into uh, that. Uh, no, stop it now, honestly. Hiya. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hiya. <laughs> <laughs> So, number two, do you want to see each other again? Can we do this bit where you say it together? <laughs> Look, one, you safe here? No, we say it together. After three, one, two, three. Yeah. 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 Uh, <laughs> yeah. No, no, there's no change. Well, thank, thank you. Thank you, cheers. You took control. Loved it. <laughs> God. Well, <laughs> anyway, good job I like you, anyway. Good job I like you. Good job I like you, after all that talk. <laughs> Thank you, ladies. Thank, Thank you. you. Ching, ching. So, come on, Em, have you ever been married? Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't say it's the most successful time of my life. New Year's Eve. 
93, bells start tolling for the grand midnight. I get the look, it's, do you have something you want to ask me? And I go, God, Andy, this is like it now. I could hear myself go, would you like to marry me? And I thought, oh, God, what have I just said? I just went along with it. I'm not really proud of saying it, but I'm just... Yeah. I was kind of in my head, I was going, no, man, what are you doing? But we got married and um, it was a complete disaster. After 15 months, we separated. It's, it's like, oh, dear. Went all too quick. I've, I've definitely learnt a few rules and lessons from that, from that time. Don't, don't go into anything purely for the sake of it. I've, I've been a bit of a coward in that respect. So, what um, family? Do you have a family? I've got three children. Wow, so what is it like, the children? They're um, well, still with you, you've got to be, haven't they? Yeah, they all yeah. live at home. Wow. Tommy and Dad next door. Oh, it's great. Sister 20 doors behind. That was cool, it's great. Love it, love it. We had happy family times, but growing up was really, really tough for me. I got diagnosed with Crohn's disease when I was 10 years old. I used to have to go to school with this little backpack on, with the little tube in my nose, and they all used to call me um, Ghostbuster. Thank you. When did you divorce, or you? 12 years ago, 13 oh, years ago. A while ago, then. Quite a long time ago. When my marriage broke up, I was devastated. I thought I did have my happy ever after at one stage, but it never worked out. Sometimes I bling myself. I think it's my illness that I've got in the way. Saying that, would you get married again? Yes, of course I would. Yeah. Yeah, I would, I think. I want to be married in love. I need to go away again. Uh, look, have as many weeds as you like. So sorry. Sarah eats chocolate for breakfast. Sarah? Did you say Sarah? Sophie. <laughs> you were joking. I'm winding you up. So you've had a you've had a good day. It hasn't ended yet. <laughs> oh, they so fancy each other. Definitely fancier. Yeah, definitely fancier. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> Can we please go halves, please? No, no, no. Yay! Okay, so can I get you a drink? I think I've had enough. No, you haven't. You can we'll still speak. <laughs> <laughs> he is hot, and I love the whole kind of dark hair, blue eye combo. It sounds really shallow, but I do. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank See you, you soon. I'll have a hug. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Do you want to see each other again? Ladies first. No way. You go first. <laughs> I thought you said no way, then, as in no way. <laughs> <laughs> no way. <laughs> you go first. I felt the date went very well. Mm -hmm. And I'd like to see you again, yeah. Yeah, me too. Really? <gasps> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Where should we go next? Got a party that we can go to if you fancy it. Nice. I was instantly attracted to you as soon as you came in through the doors. Great. <clears throat> yeah. It's always a bonus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's that there? <laughs> Come on, off we go. <laughs> Hi. 
Hey. Uh, hiya, how are Welcome you? Welcome back. Thank you. Good, you brought flowers again. I did indeed, I wouldn't have it any other way. True yes. gen always brings True gen. <laughs> Thank you. Window cleaner Mehmet has returned after his last date proved that nice guys really do finish last. Hi, Mehmet, how are you? How are you doing? You okay? I'm very well, how about yourself? Okay, fantastic. Is it what happened last time? It wasn't meant to be, so I'm back. I did feel a little bit disappointed because I had massive hopes that this fairy tale ending would walk through the door. What car do you drive? You're gonna laugh, I'm not telling you. Oh god, what is it? Smart car. <laughs> it's not. I've got a little baby Joey F6 smart car. Oh my god. What what you what, what's your ideal type of fella? Like a bad boy. So do you think I look like a bad boy? Yeah, it was a little bit disheartening, I suppose, because, you know, you hear the whole saying, I oh, like a bad boy, and you think, oh, yeah, yet again, it's, it's sort of happened. I'm just going to go with the flow, see where it takes me. I think it'll be all right. I mean, the girl I'd like to walk through the door is sort of a good person who has great morals about her, and underneath here, she's got a good heart. You know, that's the type of girl I want to walk through the door, you know, and if she's got a beautiful smile and nice eyes, you know, to me, that's a bonus. Mehmet's date is 28-year-old Leanne. As an intensive care nurse, she certainly knows a thing or two about looking after others. Hello, how are you? Hi, I'm good. You OK? Yeah, very good, thank you. What's your name, please? Leanne. Leanne. It's not anything like American TV in a real hospital. Nursing outfits are not sexy. And when you come home after the things you've been cleaning in your nursing outfit all day long, you do not want to even try and be sexy. Hi, Art. Hi. Pleasure to meet you. My name's you Mimit. My Yours? name's Leanne. Nice to meet you, Leanne. Nice Take a seat. You. Thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you. And uh, these are for you. Oh, and Lily's as well. They're my favourite. Oh, there you Thank go, then. It's so worked in my favour. That's OK. How are you feeling? I'm a bit nervous, can you tell? Don't worry. <laughs> what else would you do? Um, I'm an intensive care nurse. Wow. <laughs> so you got brains as well as beauty? Um, well, I suppose <laughs> I must have some, yes. <laughs> oh, my God, Jen, I've got a lot of respect for that. What about you? What do you do? Uh, I do two things. Uh, I'm a window cleaner by trade. I also own a cafe for my two brothers. Oh, nice. I think I'm looking for a nice, caring guy who understands me, treat me like a bit of a princess every so often, but who is passionate about what they want in life. See, I only drink on special occasions. OK. For me, this is a special occasion. For me, this is, you need to stop shaking and calm down. <laughs> you should calm down, you're all right, don't worry. You're doing well. We're getting there, it's all right. It's OK. Let's, let's make a toast to a, a great evening, yes, good company, a and have a nice day. Mandy? Yeah? You OK? I'm feeling faint. Do you want to sit out there? Yeah. Flip's sake. You know, we could have had a nice evening tonight. But then the good old Crohn's disease took over. Here I am. Hello, you. It gets in the way. It do get in the way. And that's why I think I'm on my own. Are you all right, Dan? Did I tell you I've got Crohn's disease? No, 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 no. Yeah, I've got Crohn's disease. I feel, feel, feel stupid now. You don't judge anybody because of something like that. I'm not put uh, off by her ailment. It's more about her herself. And she seems a nice, nice person. Again. Mandy was very brave, very brave to come here, I think. And she, she's managed it. I'm glad she has. None of us are perfect. We've all got little aches and troubles and, you know... Who's perfect, Ari? Oh, man, Christ. He was really supportive and he, he asked, do you want me to do anything? Do you want me to get you anything? And he was lovely. How do I do this? What's going on? I think she's very prissy. And I liked her size as well. Short and cuddly looking. Um, and also with a nice laugh. <laughs> <laughs> So, would you two like to see each other again for another date? 
would I like to see Mandy again? Yeah, I'd like to see you again, Mandy. Yeah, I would. Yeah, I would, actually, yeah. I don't... It's, don't be... That's fine, honestly. I don't know. Yeah, that, hey, I... Matt, that's absolutely fine. Yeah, let's go. There weren't no spark. Don't worry. Yeah, dumped. God, dumped. Oh! No, I'm joking, no, I'm joking. I know, I'm joking. I don't say that. It's fine. Thank you for uh, getting the bill. It was no lovely. Problem. Don't worry. Oh, look, oh. it's the same. Thank you. Thanks, man. Cheers. Thank you. This is Sana, a hard-working fashion entrepreneur who's been putting business before pleasure for far too long. I get to work as early as I can, and then I work right up until about an hour before I go to sleep, so you don't ever switch off as an entrepreneur. What's your name, please? Sana. Sana. Someone described me as a boiled acorn yesterday. <laughs> they just said I'm just really focused and really hard. You're dressed to go to a ball. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I come from like a working class, single parent family. I'm very much inspired by Oprah Winfrey. Nolly will be over in a sec. Okay. She's had tough background and she worked very, very hard to get to where she wanted to be. Yeah, like Oprah's the one. <laughs> so what's been happening with your dating these days then? I'm usually too busy to go on dates because I've got my own company. What? So yeah, my, my dating life is um, non-existent. <laughs> My ideal man would be someone that's ambitious, someone that is not afraid to push me to be the best woman I can be and is not afraid of me and my business. If I want to make space for him, I will. That's really cool. <laughs> that sounds really harsh, but no, yeah, that makes very, sense. Yeah, it does. It makes perfect sense. Hi. How are you? <laughs> Tasked with penetrating Sanna's tough shell, is estate agent and eternal singleton, Harry. So, this lovely stone brick detached Victorian house, perfect for parties. Four bedrooms, fully fitted kitchen with integrated appliances. You need to get in early, because it will go quick. <laughs> I wouldn't say that I'm a normal estate agent. I'm more of a genuine estate agent. How are you? Good evening, I'm not too bad. Okay. Yourself? Yeah, good, thank you. Um, What's your name, please? Today, Harry. Harry. At 29, he's still holding out for his perfect partner. Yeah, never had a girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> I do believe in the love of first sight. There we are. Thank you very much. I think I still am wanting that thunderbolt. I want that absolute hit by a train, can't do anything about it, flat on my back. I'm in love. See you later, guys. Hello. Harry, nice to meet you. Sana, lovely to meet you. Nice to meet you too. You look gorgeous, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> um, can I get a Bombay tonic, please? Thank you very much. <laughs> so, where are you from? Um, from Manchester. Really? Yeah, where are you from? Altrincham. <laughs> no. Where are you from? Old Trafford. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe you've been literally down the road. All right, no, we could have had this date in Manchester. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, you've been, you know, single for long, or...? Oh, gosh. Um, my last serious relationship was about six or seven years ago. Wow. What if, what if, have, uh, have you had any I dates in the Yeah, tournament? dating, you know, short, things that aren't short -term. very serious. Yeah, yeah short-term. Things that just, you know, haven't really gone anywhere. So, yeah, you know, I've been out there trying. Maybe I'll just start buying cats now, you know? It's probably <laughs> easier. My friends keep telling me this. Stop looking and it'll come to you. And you're just like, yeah, when, though, you know? I do believe previous boyfriends cheated on me. I am very wary of just any secrecy 
um, or anybody who I don't feel is being completely honest about themselves. But you know. And here you are today. Here I am. Looking glamorous. Ted and shaking. Beautiful. <laughs> so. Trying. <laughs> I'm, the one, I'm the one that tries. <laughs> I think I have been going for the bad boy for a long time. Um, so, yes, now I think it's time that I need to meet the right guy. The nice guy. I've been single for about two years now. Okay. Um, so at least she ended it by texting me after two and a half years together. I was heartbroken. I was genuinely heartbroken. I thought my world had ended. Taking into account as well, she had two kids um, that I took on as my own. Do you think am I doing something wrong? You know? Am I am I am I too nice? You seem a bit like myself. Very, very laid back. Very happy-go-lucky, you know, yeah, take definitely. me as I am. I'm a homely type fella, so I love day I love, I love TV, I love TV. I am majorly addicted to American TV drama. I shouldn't say this, but I do love a chick flick movie as well, right? <laughs> yeah? I'm on the right geezer, if I'm honest with you. You know? There's no, no gimmicks, there's no lies, you know? I'm straight down the middle. Uh, so it would be nice to equally meet someone that's, uh, on my sort of wavelength and wants what I want. And it's just like the, you know, the icing on the cake, so just me. I've got a lot of cake at home. I need to eat it. Is that an offer? <laughs> no, no, that wasn't my mess. <laughs> not as in, no. not as <laughs> No, I was literally just saying. Calm down, I want your respect, yeah? <laughs> 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 okay. So what do you like to do? What? So, I, am. Um... I have set up my own company six months ago. It's, it's about empowering women, and there's nowhere on the market for women to be able to dress professionally. Like, you, have to, you have to pull bits and pieces together. Like, it's, it's a real struggle. So I've got, like, women's suits. I stock them and um, sell them. That's pretty cool. Thank you. It takes a lot of guts to go, you know what? Screw it. My dad owned his own business. He owned a textile factory. Oh, does he? Well, he did, but he doesn't know. Uh, but yeah, so that's like that's what he did. Um, so like I've always looked up to that kind of to have your own business is yeah. it's a pretty it's a pretty cool thing. I'm very driven and very ambitious, and that's a lot of who I am. And it's very much because I so I don't live with my dad. Um, he he walked out, and I've always felt the need to sort of be able to stand on my own two feet and provide for myself, and to be very, very, very strong. My mum and dad got divorced when I was two, and I used to see my dad every weekend. Thank you. And when he got remarried, he didn't want a relationship with me, and I sort of just had to accept it. I often feel like if my dad can walk out on me, then any man can. I just started working hard to be able to prove myself to him and, and to other guys that I am worth something. <laughs> I, I can come across as very hard, but that's not me, like, deep down. Like, I'm, I am actually a soft person. I just... I have this exterior cos I just feel like I'm constantly needing to prove myself. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> they just got a bit deep. <laughs> got a bit deep. Your turn. My turn? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my dad met my mum my on a cruise ship. Right. And proposed to her the first night he met. Shut up. Bow of the ship. One knee. Really? Will you marry me? Yeah. But yeah, got married. And three kids later, here we are. Yeah. And it's, it's a hard thing to live up to, meeting your lovely life and, and like, that's it. Forever, like my parents did. I see a lot of, of what I would like in my parents. Just to know that you know that something like that has happened and it could happen to you, I think is enough. My approach can put guys off because sometimes I come across as too independent. You still don't know what you you want until you find it. I think, and I think when you do, you'll know. I've always been single. Oh, really? Yeah. That's interesting. My friends would tell you that is because I'm an idiot. You didn't didn't take the leap of faith or, like, it didn't push for something that maybe should have been, and... I'm OK with it. People still pull the face. Yeah. No, it's... The only reason I pulled the face <laughs> is because I was just surprised. I know.
According to one mathematician, he worked out statistically his odds of meeting his perfect partner to be 1 in 285,000. Perfect partner, by the way, that is. So his chance of just meeting a partner is actually, all things considered, pretty good. That's just like heaven, isn't it? Mm. I can't believe I'm sitting in a beautiful restaurant with great company and the best dessert in town. So what would you like to do of an evening like, when you... Sleep! <laughs> <laughs> this is perfect. <laughs> If I could apply for a job, sleep, yeah. if I could apply for a job that paid well and I could sleep, like I would. Like mattress testing. Oh yeah. God. Yeah. Should, we should, we should I both might apply. look into it. Yeah. Should we both apply? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Definitely. What I just said. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> he is different from my normal type in that he seems like he's a grown-up. <laughs> I felt a spark. I definitely felt a connection. Sorry about this. My OCD is kicking in, so I've got to have the they heads. Have to be the right way around. Yeah, the yeah, heads have to be agree. the right way around. Should we split? Do you no, 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 no. I, I will get the tab. Don't worry. Thank you very much. That's all right. My pleasure. When Leanne walked through the restaurant, I thought, wow, you know, I knew instantly it was going to be a good day. She's laid back. She's bubbly. She knows how to have a good time, which makes her quite a unique individual. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. So. Do you want to see each other again? I'm going to let the lady take the lead. <laughs> That's cheeky. You know? um, yeah, I think I would, yes. Yeah, me too. I think we'd uh, definitely spend some time together and see where it goes, 100%. Uh, I'd like to say I enjoyed your company. I thought we had an amazing time. Yeah, we definitely and did. And it was get a, really a start to finish. It was really, really good. Thank you for turning up. No, that's fine. Thank you for my flowers. They're lovely. You know, I had a really nice evening. Yeah, me too. Like I say, that smile keeps winning me over. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thanks. Did you seem like you had a nice evening? Yeah, we had a lovely time. Thank you. It was uh, a really good evening. Yeah, yeah really nice time. I still can't wait till I bump into you in traffic on the way to work. I see, I, I don't hang around in Old Trafford though. You won't see me in Old Trafford. Too bad, there's only one thing to do in Old, Old Trafford. Football? Yeah. Support United? Yeah. Okay. I support City. No, you don't. I do. No, you don't. You live in Old Trafford, you're not allowed to. I support City. Oh, I love City. City! City, City, City! City. Oh, no, you don't, because it's City. So, no, you don't. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm United. <laughs> I'm loyal. <laughs> I have to say, I've had a really good evening. Had a really but you good worried? Evening. Not worried, but you like you never know, do you? Like whatsoever. Yeah. No, I thought it's gone quite well. Yeah. She's obviously a very driven person. Like you could tell that from the offset, which is a really attractive quality. I thought every box was ticked. I have to say, you do look lovely. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's never a good sign. <laughs> I, I had a great evening. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I forgot how to say it. I think you're very pretty. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I don't really give compliments out that often. I'm a bit of a boiled acorn. <laughs> 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 It's not a no, this is how I say yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I'd like to see you again. Come on. Okay. <laughs> I'll take that. Thank you. <laughs> how was your evening, all right? Yeah, yeah good, fine. thank you. Yeah?